Hey, what is going on guys? It is Pro here and today we are on a cannon server. Um, I've been uh, getting asked and I did ask on my Twitter if you guys would like to uh, see a tutorial on how to make a 40 stacker, which is that cannon right there. And uh, you guys wanted me to make one, so here I am. Um, I've got that one right there set up, ready to go, and then we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you guys how to build one um, and all of that good stuff. So let's uh, let's jump right into it. Okay, guys. So this is my 40 stacker. This is the cannon that I use um, when I'm using a 40 stacker or when I'm reversing. Usually um, I will use this cannon. Um, it's just a simple 40 stacker. Not too much more different than a normal Leon. Um, the only difference is you have two more uh, columns of dispensers. I add uh, two extra ones on each one just to, you know, have that little bit of extra power. Um, you know, it, it kind of helps sometimes. So I put uh, two, four, six, I put eight on the top, eight, eight extra dispensers on the top. Um, obviously, if you're shooting from far away, this is not going to be enough power. So you got to kind of you know be the judge of the power how much you need and uh, all of that good stuff but the only difference is that and then you have to extend it by one to add that extra piston in right there and other than that it's just like exactly like a, a normal Leon cannon um, there's no really big differences everything's set up the same you just have that one extra block there for the extra piston um, now some other bigger cannons like a hundred stacker it'll come out to the side here and it'll have a five long uh piston set up and then it'll have a compression that'll shoot it into the into the cannon but we are not there yet or at least i'm not making a tutorial on that one yet um we're just going to do this 40 stacker so i have it all set up ready to go um i just set up a little pillar there uh to shoot at so here we go let's fire this one and see what it does um a lot of you guys were uh asking me questions on um my last tutorial on the normal lean of like how to use it kept blowing up guys i that video i explain every everything how to use it i, I do step by step how to make it so if you're unclear on certain things, just go back, watch the video, um, you know, listen to what I'm talking about. And uh, I explain it pretty well on how to uh, how to use this cannon. So as you can see, it's stacked, uh, stacked pretty well right there. Um, so when you're using this cannon, what you want to do, I'm just going to explain it just a little bit here. What you want to do if you're sand stacking, so you got to figure out what, what Y your platform's at. So this is at 46 right now, okay? This is at 46. So what you want is you wanna get this sand to 47. So we stacked up to 44. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to single stack. Um, I'm gonna explain how to single stack real quick. So if you wanna single stack, you gotta disconnect the hammer down, okay? You do not want that hammer down. Um, and then you just get your cobwebs do it just like normal but only stack you know one or two sand and then shoot and it'll it'll only stack one sand so if you're at 44 you're gonna have to single stack a couple times to get it to 47 so that's 45 46 47 okay so once it's at 47 what you want to do is get some slabs and these four blocks right here, one, two, three, four. So you'll break these four and you'll put slabs up top, just like that, okay? And then the only other things you do is I turn on my guider. Oh, wrong one, let me get some redstone. There we go, turn on my guider. And then you connect. Some people use scatter uh, when they hybrid. Some people use just the hammer down. So you could just reconnect the hammer down or you can use a scatter. Uh, sometimes it's better to use a scatter because obviously um, 
you get like a more dispersed uh set of tnt as to where the hammer down is just like all in one bunch um but you can hook up both like i have done now um and then you put your cobwebs just like this but uh two pieces of sand you do not need any more than that don't stack it all the way up or you're gonna get a back stack and that is no good okay so do not stack any more than that when you're hybriding um and then you can just go ahead and shoot the hammer down will go your uh realignment will go and there you go you'll you'll blow through the wall uh just as easy as that so that is how you hybrid okay um and then make sure when you go back to stacking, I mean, you don't have to change this. Um, you're just going to have to watch your sand stack because if you don't change this, you can overstack your sand and that that is no good. Uh, it really, really sucks when you overstack your sand because then you can you either have to restack up in front of that one. Or you have to try and hybrid at the bottom to get that that first stack to fall. So you know it's good just to just to break these. It doesn't take very long uh, just to swap those out. And then when you go back to stacking, make sure you disconnect that and your scatter, and you can go right back to stacking your sand just as easy as that. So that is how I mean the the basics of using it. Um, yeah, so that's the cannon, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go right over here, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build one, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So let's go. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm gonna show you guys how to build this. Now, obviously, the first thing you want to do when you're building this cannon, if you're raiding a base, is find out where you want to go into the base at. Make sure you're lined up with it. You know, I usually fly to the base, and then I fly straight along with it and find out the exact block and then I'll put my my barrel lined up with it so first thing obviously is you want to make the barrel uh, I usually make mine five long so we're gonna go five long just like that and we're gonna go four high so two three and four do the same thing to this side and then on the fifth one you go in the middle just like that okay and then on the right side of it, um, you're gonna go up three blocks. You're gonna put three in front of that. And then on the sides of those, you're gonna put four, just like that. This one, you actually like, don't really need. Um, I just, I don't know. It's just a habit to put it there. I don't know why, don't ask me. It's just, I don't know. Okay, so after that, you're gonna do your, uh, your sand. So you're gonna put, Two blocks just like that and then this is where your compression is gonna go right there so one block one block after that build it up just like that so you got like a little uh, fat L right there and then uh, after that is where your power is gonna start so you're gonna go five along that so one two three four five and then you have a block you have two blocks then right here is where your your compression for your power is going to start. So you're going to have a, a dispenser there. Block, dispenser, block, dispenser, block. Just like that. And then this one could be built up to the same height as uh, the rest of that. So four high. And then on this side, you're gonna. this is going to be empty. Because we're going to put ladders on that. So you don't need it. Um, you can put a block there if you'd like. It doesn't really make a huge difference um, but then you're gonna have your power so one two three four five and then you have a block that goes up four one block then that goes up four that's gonna be your scatter TNT right there and then you could just fill all of this in just like that now the top of it <clears throat> you're gonna bring over to here um, you're going to bring it two more. Those two are going to get broken. So right here, right light, um, lined up with your uh, pistons here. You're going to break those two blocks and then bring that over. Depending on how much power you have, you can bring this all the way across. Uh, you don't have to. It's not really 
uh, a big deal if you don't. So yeah, don't really don't really worry about that. Um, right here though, for the hammer down, you're gonna put two blocks on either side of this, and then bring that one around. So you got uh, one, two, three, and four for your your dispensers there. Um, okay, so that's pretty much the the basic layout. Uh, just a skeleton of the cannon. Now let's get some dispensers. Go into redstone. Grab these dispensers. Grab some sticky pist or sticky pistons, regular pistons, and we'll just throw those down for now. So here, you're gonna put uh, four dispensers. Now, obviously, uh, I have world edit, so I'm just gonna get my wand here, and we're gonna take these um, slash slash stack twelve. That'll stack it all the way up there. Stack 12. Stack 12. And stack 12. Then we got all our dispensers for our hammer down. It looks like... No, nope, that one went one too high. Alright, there we go. So all in all, you're going to have 12 dispensers in each each column. 12 dispensers in each column, okay? Um, you don't really need much more than that. It is it is completely plenty enough for um, your hammer down. Um, the only reason why you would add more is uh, if you're doing a one shot or uh, something like that. But anyways, so then we're gonna add the dispensers for the power or the scatter right here. We're going to add our compression uh, dispenser right there. That's for your uh, scatter TNT. And then we're going to do our power right here. Let's do this. And let's stack that up three. And then do it to this side as well. So it's going to go up four, just like the other one. Like I said, it depends on how far away from the base you are. You can stack it, I mean, all the way up to here if you want to. It just, um, it just has to have enough time. It has to have enough time for the TNT to fall by the time your compression goes off. So, uh, you know, if you stack it too high, obviously you're going to have some leftover TNT. Um, but then you're going to do your compression. So three uh, dispensers just like that. And uh, that's all the dispensers that you need. Um, going on to pistons, you're going to put the one right there. That's for your hammer down. You're going to put four right there. You're going to put two right above that, just like so. And uh, that's pretty much it for regular pistons. Um, we will be using some sticky pistons here in, uh, here in a little bit for some of our wiring and uh, other stuff like that. So that is all your dispenser and piston placement. Um, so now um, we can work on getting the, the extra skeleton setup of it. So right here off of this block, you're gonna come out by one. So on the second block, you're gonna put two blocks, go up by one, bring it over, Go up by two, bring it over, just like just like the uh, normal Leon. Um, same setup for your your power. Some people like to use uh, repeaters for their power. I really I don't see a really big difference. Um, torches work for me just as well as repeaters do, so uh, I don't I don't really see a, a big difference there. Um, so that's that. And then to wire these two up right here, you're going to bring this out and then over, um, I think, uh, yep, yeah, just like that. And then this one will be broken because um, we're going to put a sticky piston right there with a block on it. And then on this side, um, for this, actually, let's do this real quick so it's just kind of out of the way. Um, you're going to need some glass. 
gonna need water and also some ladder i just threw out those ladders some ladders there we go so you're gonna throw a ladder on the inside right there and then you're gonna put glass around it just like so with some water in it and cover it up just like that easy simple uh, the other place ladders go will be right here and that's to stop this water from leaking out over here um, but anyways, yeah, that's that. So for this, you need to go out to, and then you need to come out by another one, bring it over, just like that. So it's kind of like a weird S shape. I don't even know what you want to call that, but it's that that shape. And for this one, you can come out three down to make a staircase, just like that. <clears throat> and then that's uh, how you wire that up. Um, now, for the hammer down, you're going to come off of this middle block. You go up by one, two, and then three there. And then bring that over. Make sure it's lined up with that second dispenser. If it's not lined up with that second dispenser, then... Um, you might have messed up on either this, the uh, dispenser placement or you didn't go up high enough with this. Um, so yeah, now we need some glowstone. So let's get some glowstone. And then here, we're just going to stack it up. The last glowstone needs to end on the top dispenser. So then you'll just stagger it up just like that. Then you have two blocks coming off of each one, like so, just like that. And then you're going to wrap these around. So let's bring all these over and around. Now, obviously, if you guys don't have a slash fly, a little bit more difficult to build these cannons, but it is possible. I have done it. So that is the uh, setup for the power on the hammer down. And then uh, we could come down here and we got to stagger these up like so on both sides. That's how you're going to get your power up there. And that is pretty much it for you know, all that uh, extra skeletal stuff, um, except for right here, you just bring this out by three, not really, not really too big of a deal, um, but yeah, let's get, uh, let's, let's work on the inside here real quick, so you gotta get some slabs, you're gonna put one slab here for your scatter, then you're going to break these blocks and put two slabs down there at the bottom for your uh, your sand right there. Um, that's really the only slabs that you're going to need. Obviously, unless you're using um, repeaters as your power and all that good stuff. So for water, you're going to put one here. Um, you can fill this up here because it's not going to overflow. That's the reason for the ladders. Um... You're going to have to put your four blocks in here. So the first block will start right above your scatter. And it'll end right before your hammer down. So you're going to have four blocks right there. Um, and then usually I put a bucket of water right there. So it flows over top of that. Um, just kind of helps it just in case, you know, some TNT might get, get stuck or something. It doesn't blow up your cannon. And then obviously we put a bucket of water up there. Nope, and I just blocked it off and throw a block on top of it, just like so. So that's all the water you're going to need, uh, not too much. Now we're going to get to the wiring. Let me throw all this away. Let me grab some redstone torches, redstone, repeaters, a comparator, grab a button, and oh we're gonna need one more sticky piston actually and i think that's all we're gonna need out of here okay 
So here, we're going to start with the redstone. Obviously, bring it around this. Bring it down. Bring it over to here. And up on both of these with a repeater facing into that block and then you just uh, throw your redstone along with the rest of all of this railing right here on both sides just like so okay so that's that's your power um, and then you just put your torches on each of these blocks like so Just like that. Okay. So that's your power setup. We can just throw the button on there real quick. Um, now to wire these pistons right here, you just put a repeater into that block, put some redstone down, and put two repeaters just like that. You don't need any ticks on these at all. No, none whatsoever. So uh, don't add any ticks to those. Um, and then we'll wire up the scatter here real quick. So you're going to put a repeater into there. Bring it down out two, And then off that first one, just bring it out like that. Put your comparator. You can put it closer like to where it kind of goes up on that block as the circuit. But I don't know, it just looks weird to me. So um, you can add seven repeaters here. And then you can connect that up just like that. Um, then obviously this depends on how far away you are, how many, how much, uh, you know, delay you need on your scatter or, you know, whatnot. So you can adjust that as you need. We can disconnect it for now. And then to wire up your compression here, very, very simple. You just put a block down, bring redstone off of it. You know, put a repeater facing into that. And you connect it up just like that. Not really too much to it. We can disconnect it for now. Don't really need it. And then let's wire up the uh, hammer down here. So you're going to bring your redstone up. Just like this. You're going to put two repeaters. One on full. One on two. And then here, you're going to put a repeater on each one of these blocks. Just like that. And then put your redstone on all of those and along all of these just like this bring it all the way around make sure you uh make sure you get all of them if you miss them you won't be stacking uh stacking as much sand as you would probably like to so make sure you have all the redstone there none of those repeaters need any ticks on them whatsoever um, and then you just put your redstone torches on the insides of all those just like that now to uh, to wire up these over here you're gonna come off of this redstone you're gonna go one two three and there's going to be a redstone there. Then you're going to go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It should always land on this block right here. Always. If it doesn't, then you might have just set these blocks wrong or you might have uh, too much or too little uh, repeaters right here. So you're going to put two pieces of redstone, two repeaters. That one's going to be on one tick because that's where that sticky piston is going to go with a block on it and then you're just going to run your redstone up to here you do not need a repeater for this at all you just run redstone straight into it um, so yeah then you just run your redstone up here two repeaters going into that full ticks on those and uh, all of these 12 repeaters here are going to have full ticks on them as well so let's just throw those on there. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that is, that's it. That's the whole cannon. That's how you make it. Um, not really, not really too much to it, <clears throat> to be honest. Excuse me. Um, we got our scatter disconnected. Let's go ahead and, sh let's go ahead and fill it up. 
So let's just do slash fill. Get her all filled up here. Let's throw some cobwebs down. Let's get some sand. Get our, oh, where'd my wand go? Hold on. Let's get our wand here. Let's get those. Stack it 19. Your sand stack will have to be 20 tall. Um, don't put any more than 20 because if you do, the sand's not going to have enough time to fall into the cannon and uh, it's just going to get stuck in, in, in the barrel or where your pistons are. So just stack 20 tall. That's all you need. Um, let's just make sure everything is set up correctly here. We got that all connected. That's all connected. Okay, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and and give her a shot here and uh, see how she does. And it did perfect. That's just what we want to see. So yeah, um, that's it, you guys. That's the uh, that's the little tutorial on how to build a forty stacker. Not really too much uh, different than the Leon, like I said before. Uh, if you guys do have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will try to answer um, as many of them as I can. I know on my last video, there's some comments that I haven't been able to answer. Um, I do get pretty busy sometimes and I'm not able to uh, answer all of you guys. So if I don't get to you, don't feel bad. Just go ahead and, and rewatch the video. Um, you know, just see what you might have missed if it didn't work correctly. Or, uh, you know, go ahead and ask me. Uh, ask me, you know, if you have something going wrong and you, and you really can't figure it out. So, yeah, that's going to be it, you guys. If uh, you did enjoy, make sure you leave some love down below with a, with a like. <clears throat> you know it's much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, you know, for obviously future episodes or tutorials on how to build cannons. I know that I will be doing some more um, in the future. So, you know, keep an eye out. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Yeah.